So let's go straight to the point. Did you and Representative Dan Fernandez instruct Police Colonel Hector Grijaldo to confirm the reward system in Davao, in effect asking him to lie? Kung Dan Fernandez put the paper he was holding on the table and told me, ito ang sasabihin mong statement na ito. While pointing on the paragraph on the paper, ito ang supplemental affidavit ni Colonel Garma. Sabihin mo, alam mo ang reward system. I-confirm mo lang. I already made a statement that there is no truth to the accusations Naku. of Colonel Grinaldo that I forced anyone or we force anyone to sign any affidavit in exchange to favors or the possibility of promotions and that is what i said uh, in the media karen all and right but this is the point I Representative know why, Abante. wait I, I, won't know let that go. I won't let that go just yet what is yeah. your business and dan fernandez's business speaking to a resource person why would you do that uh, he was uh, actually a classmate of uh, Colonel Garma. And Colonel Garma asked us if we can talk to uh, Colonel Girardo because he has something to say. So, you know, uh, okay, we talked to him. But what you did was wrong. That immediately put color and bias into the resource persons. What is the business of two representatives Speaking to a police colonel who is meant to be under oath, give his testimony, you should not have spoken with him. They did not give me a copy of the second affidavit of police, Gar police colonel Garma. I felt that I disappointed them. Kong Dan Fernandez and Kong Abante left the room while I and the two lawyers of police colonel Garma stayed in the room for a while. I presume that they are about to present the second affidavit of police colonel Garma. I asked the two lawyers of police colonel Garma why they have chosen me. They did not ask, they did not answer me and just stared at me and that I went back to the hearing room. No, he was not uh, under oath in the Senate, yes. But when we talked to him, uh, we we were talking to him in response to what Colonel Garma said. Na, no, but in the end, he was going to speak in the Quadcom. They are under oath in the Quadcom, correct? Yes, that's true, yes. Yes, so why would you but speak we never, to... We never, no, the point is this, Representative Abante. Yes, yes, do you, uh, in the lower house, do you all speak to your resource persons before they attend the hearing? Not 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 necessarily, but uh, in a way is in which that the uh, practice sometime, in the lower house? Sorry, I is feel it, it is it the practice I, I feel in it, the lower I'm still house? That you sometimes speak? sometimes this resource persons would request us to talk to them privately. Oh, so we give them some time so we could be able to talk to them privately. But the thing is this forcing anyone, forcing anyone to make an affidavit. That will make that will tell them that they'll uh, speak lies to them. Uh, we don't do that. You see, okay, but he did not say you forced him to make an affidavit. This was his testimony in the Senate. Number one, number one, he said first that Congressman Dan Fernandez put the paper he was holding in the table at Sinabe. Yung paragraph na yun, no? yun ang affidavit ni Colonel Garma. Sinabi niya, oh, ikumpirma mo na alam mo ang reward system. In other words, it appears that you were not objective, both of you, that you were in effect influencing a resource person to no, corroborate Garma's testimony. No, we're not. An accusation we're not, we're, we're not influencing him. We're, okay. just, we just, we're just asking him because it was Colonel Garma who actually told us, can you please uh, talk to Colonel Grad because he's my class. Regardless, he this is not the point. Say. The thing the is point, this, uh, the thing okay, is this, uh, but, okay. But the point is, did you call, did you speak to a resource person, two representatives, a resource person in private without his lawyer? Did you do that? No, there were two lawyers there. You his lawyers. He could, be, he could be able to, he could be able to call his lawyer too if he wanted to. No, that's not the point. When the you spoke is, with him, the, the, when the, you spoke with him, was he alone? The, 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 the point is this, Karen. No, no force was given. The point is this. 
we did not tell him. We did not actually force him to uh, make an affidavit. We did not force him to 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 say that he agrees with Garma. All right, we did not do that. Oh, we were just polite of enough, Papa enough, Papa polite Papa. enough, or polite enough no. because they wanted, they wanted to speak to us. We we're just polite enough to be able to give them uh, the room for them to say something. Okay. Another testimony, he said in the Senate, during that conversation, tinanong mo pa, o oh, ilang taon ka na lang sa serbisyo, baka pwede ka bang general? Did you, was there a part of the conversation that went this way? That's a lie. Uh, the, uh, oh. the thing is, uh, why, would, why, would people, why would people believe a killer who would say those things? But why would they believe even you? Even this was quantum. highly inappropriate. Even the point even, is... No, the point is, uh, Representative Abante, is this. You and Representative Dan Fernandez put the, whole, the results of the Quadcom in a compromising situation. It affected the credibility by speaking to a resource person privately. I don't think so. I mean, uh, we will still pursue the truth. And that is what we want to say. We okay. want to pursue the truth on these things. And I don't think that people would just believe a killer telling lies in the Senate committee. Well, don't believe that uh, the, the previous government used killers to testify against uh, former Senator Laila de Lima. That was believed. We're not talking about the previous committee hearings. We're talking about the hearing now. Okay, I mean, now, talk, okay so my question on, is this. My question, people, no, Representative, be. if you're saying why believe the statements of a killer, instead of yourself, why even use him as a resource person? If that's your argument, you said he's a killer, he shouldn't be believed. So we'd why like, believe him in the Quad Committee hearing? We would like to find out the truth. Why, why is it that Colonel Garma changed, his, changed their statement? Why is it that Colonel uh, Leonardo said that there is still a reward system? I mean, we would like to ferret out the truth. Okay. Now I just said, okay. Why would uh, why would anyone uh, believe a killer? But in my quad meeting, uh, we invite everyone. We invite all the witnesses that would tell us the truth on this. Now, if they will not tell the truth, they will still lie. It's up to them. We are here to investigate. We are not here to lie. At the end of the day, Representative Abante. Why should the people believe now that what he told in the Quadcom hearing is true, that uh, he knew of the reward system, and in the Senate, he would lie by saying that he was asked to confirm it. That, and is, already, it. Uh, Karen, that is already expected. I mean, uh, we know for a fact that anyone that would go to the Senate would, uh, would uh, perhaps, uh, uh, you know, change their statement. That is already expected, Karen. But why would he do that? What's in it for him? He's a police colonel. He doesn't want a promotion. If he wanted a promotion, possibly, he would have stuck with the story that uh, he knew of the of, of the reward system, given the given, no, given the, the political environment today. But yet he goes to the Senate and risks, I, actually, uh -huh. by saying, they asked me to lie. I don't know, but uh, perhaps he's there to protect the president. Perhaps he's there to uh, ju just agree with the president, with the former president. You see, I, I really, really, really do not know. We do not know what is in the mind of any person. We expect that to, to happen, you see. Okay, so you've denied it, so it becomes uh, he said, she said, in this case, he said, he said. But at the end of the day, looking at your actions and Representative Dan Fernandez's actions... Have you learned a lesson not to speak with resource persons before a hearing? Perhaps, Karen, uh, perhaps in that way, uh, we were taught a lesson. Sa amin lang, you know, we're just giving them room, okay? Uh, walang, walang anumang, uh, walang anumang uh, coercion dito. Walang anumang promise of promotion dito. We cannot even promise promotion. Who are we anyway? You see, we just want, we just want to let the people know the truth about the EJ case. Mas patindi ang EJ case, rather, uh, more than any statement of any police officer. 
Okay. But at the end of the day, by meeting with a witness, a resource person, you have two sitting representatives, you are co-chairman of the hearing. One th pe people can perceive that as undue influence. That's, that's subtle that. pressure. I, I, I don't think that so. Well, be perceived as subtle pressure, perhaps, undue um, influence. Remember, you are co-chairman of that committee. Perhaps some uh, some people would perceive that, but most people will not. You know, I, I'm the chairman of the Committee of Human Rights, and we would like to find out. You see that? Even in a personal way. Kung halimbawa, nakiusap, isang resource person, pwede bang makausap kayo muna? So, we give way. We give way. What is wrong with that? You see that? We give way. Because he would like to know the truth of, of the matter. But then, magkakaroon ng pagkakaiba ng statement niya. Well, it's up to him. It's up to him. You see that? Kami lang, kami lang, ang amin lang attitude is that uh, hindi naman kami matigas. Malambot din kami na nais namin na malaman ang kalutuhanan. Kung yung taong yan, nais niya, pwede ba kayong makausap? So why not? Oo. But you know, coercing a person. But, 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 but Representative Dan Fernandez was there with you. Representative Dan Fernandez was there with you. Right? Yeah. And, 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 and Colonel Grijaldo's statement was firm. Sinabi niya, he put the paper he was holding on the table. I believe he said this in Filipino. And, and he said, this is the statement you'll say. Tinuturo niya yung paragraph. This is Colonel Garma's supplemental affidavit. Just say you know the reward system. Ikumpirma mo lang. Kumpirma mo to. Hawak yung papel. Why would he invent that story? Who invented, Karen? We so why would, why would Grigaldo invent that story? Ah, okay. Well, I don't know about him. Perhaps you could be able to ask him, why would he invent that kind of a story? See? He might be protecting someone else. No, so you're saying Dan Fernandez did not do that? See, he is one of those that knew the killing of General Barayuga. Now, I do not know uh, if, if, if anyone would uh, just look at his statement. He was one of those that are accused in the killing of Barayuga. Yun dapat ang sinabi niya. I did not, I was not part of the killing of Barayuga. What he has said, you see. And the thing is this. Ah, kawawa naman si Colonel Garma. Colonel Garma has a change of heart. She had reflection and she said, uh, I now would like to say the truth because the truth shall set me free. Ang nais lamang ni Colonel Garma is that uh, perhaps you can talk to Colonel Ginaldo. Uh, he has a lot of things to say. But all of a sudden, he had nothing to say but uh, go against the statement of Colonel Garma. But that's what I, I'm trying to say. That's what a resource person is. It depends, you know. It, it's a matter of, by, by looking for the truth, we can't influence them to speak one way or the other. Because now he claims, this is what he's saying. I mean, this is what he's saying in the Senate, that at first he refused Dan Fernandez, right? Sinabi niya wala siyang alam sa reward scheme. Tapos, kinausap mo siya pagkatapos, tas dito mo na parang, eh, this is where undue influence could be perceived or pressure. Sinabi mo daw, tinanong mo, o, oh, ilang taon ka pa? Ilang taon ka pa ba sa PNP? Sabi niya, I still have four years but before my retirement. Sinabi mo, oh, you can still become a general. Doon niya sinabing, I'm content with my rank. When I went back to the hearing room, I immediately called the attention of police Colonel Lito Patay, who were sitting behind the witness table. He proceeded at the back of the lobby area. When they suspended the hearing, I confided and discussed to him what happened in the room with Kong Dan Fernandez and Kong Abante and the tall lawyers of Police Colonel Garma. Well, uh, it means if you say something is that his is pleasing his to his administration, ganun ang dating is baka maging general ka pa. Well, talagang, talagang mangyayari yan, uh, no, Karen, eh. I mean, uh, the people will always try to excuse themselves or give reasons para baka wala sila sa investigasyon, para hindi na maimbitahan yan, para, you know, uh, para bang, you know, any investigation in the Senate or the House, eh, hindi naman nakakatuwa yan sa kanila eh. Alright? So they will do everything they can to excuse yeah. 
But I think there's a lesson here for two representatives. It's the issue of propriety and being beyond reproach. We ask, we ask our judges, we ask Supreme Court judges to be beyond reproach, not a hint, right? Not a hint of impropriety. So next time, what will change in how the Quad Committee holds its hearings? We are not a court, Karen. We are a committee in, the, in, in Congress. And we are just there to investigate and to ferret out the truth so we could be able to uh, craft, craft more laws to prevent those things happening again. You see, so we're not the court. Yeah, you're not the court, but, but, investigators, we're not but investigators are also expected to be. Yes, but we're not there to prosecute. Interest. We're not there to prosecute. It is up to the DOJ or the NBI to prosecute whatever they might say. You see that? I mean, uh, ano, ano magagawa namin kung yan? Ano no, but you don't know anymore. The problem oh. now is the public doesn't know saan siya nagsinungaling. Sa inyo or sa Senate. After watching this video, mag-comment lang, dahil ang iyong boses at paniniwala ay mahalaga para maimulat ang katotohanan. Ito ay para sa bayan. By, technically, he recanted his testimony in the Quadcom. That's what he did. He Correct. recanted his testimony in that, the that, Quadcom that, 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 by saying that in the Senate. That would be true. Uh, the thing is this, uh, Karen, no? Nakikita namin kahit sa Quadcom, under oath na yung mga witnesses, ang isinungaling pa eh. Under oath na nagising, nungaling pa sila. Mm -hmm. Alright, nakikita po namin yan. O meron kayong mga ebidensya. But they still lie. Oo. Uh, bakit? Because they know it's not the court. Oh, they can say anything they want to say. Oo. It might even be, uh, for example, like uh, uh, for Julius or what it is. But they still lie. So ano gagawin namin doon? But we're still here. We are still counting that one day these people like Colonel Garma will have a Well, you can file for perjury the... if they lie. You can file for contempt if they lie. We can contempt. They us. are under oath. And that's and the reason really... why we contempt them. Okay. But the issue at the end is this. You will deny it. He insists on it. Dan Fernandez has denied it. But in the end, how will you proceed with future hearings of the Quadcom? We will still proceed, Karen, whatever happened. You know, we know, we know that uh, in a way, uh, mga ito, mga bagay na ito. But, but will you not now stop not stop talk to resource it, persons it before stop the stop. hearing? Perhaps, perhaps, Karen, perhaps we have learned something here that we must do. Never talk to a resource person in private. You see that? Perhaps that is what we must do. You see? Uh oh, we're, we're learning the ropes, Karen. I mean, we're not perfect people. You know, we can we can uh, do some mistakes sometimes, but the thing is this. Oh, nakita namin. Aba, hindi pala maganda yung uh, uh, big, pagbigyan mo yung tao na gusto makiusap, nakausapin kami. Oh, sabihin na lang namin, okay, gumarap ka na lang doon sa Quadcom hearing. Sabihin mo na lang, gusto mo sabihin doon. All right? So, perhaps in that way, Karen, you're right. Get notified for latest news. Mahal kong bayan.